good, y'all. No Mercy, Trap New York City, NoMercyTV.com. No Mercy TV podcast. Um, it's going to be one of our special editions. Um, I'm going to just be doing a podcast like when certain events happen that are like just major. You feel me? Um, Cam versus Mace, man. You know, me being from Harlem, man, this is this shit got me hyped. You feel what I'm saying? Um, this all started like years ago. You feel me? Um, Cam and Mace uh, always had like kind of a a rocky thing. Just off the strength that um, when Mace was on the come up, Cam didn't really know the business too well. You feel what I'm saying? So like certain shit that Mace was doing, such as like charging him for features, charging him for video appearances. It's like Cam didn't understand that it's like, you know, you kind of pretty much get the label to pay for that. You know, once the money get the Mace pocket, then, you know, Mace could probably kind of break you off just for helping him hit that lick. You feel what I'm saying? So that's just um, one of the hustles that's in the music industry that Cam wasn't really privy to at the time. So when Mace is doing certain shit to Cam, it's like he moving funny. But it's really, you know, part of the hustle of the, of the, of the rap game. You feel me? So um, <clears throat> you get to a point where, all right, uh, to be honest, I really don't even remember Mace dissing Cam on a record. You know, I remember he came back um, on on the, the the Get Rich or Die Trying soundtrack. He he threw shots at uh, Loon and Fab. Um, he had the freestyle, the Ten Years of Hate joint. Um, he might have threw a couple joints. He might have threw a couple jabs at Cam in there. I think you feel me, but um, the whole dip set was actually bombing on Mace. Like when you go back and look at they track, they track record as far as like this record Jim was bombing on Mace Cam was bombing on Mace um Jewels might have had like one or two lines here and there he never really came crazy at Mace um JR Ryder done came at Mace 40 Cal done came at Mace and um Hell Road done came at Mace too you feel me so um you know the whole dip set was bombing on Mace at one point and um you know, fast forward the last week, Killer just dropped his uh project, the program. Make sure y'all cop that too. That program shit is tough. Like, definitely one of the best projects of the year. You feel me? And a lot of our vets are not able to really, you know, um, have this type of longevity in the game and still be able to put out, still be able to do what they normally do in music amongst this new crowd. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it just shows you how Dipset was always able to stand out. Amongst what was going on, you feel me? And ain't shit changed. Like this, this um program shit is tough, shit super tough. You feel me? But um, on an intro track called "It's Killer," Cam threw a couple shots at Mace. You feel what I'm saying? Speaking on the situation where um, I guess Mace got trapped inside some chick crib and Cam had to go get niggas to to pull up and shit like that. So um, you know, with all the other disses in the past, and then um. Then Cam just dissing him recently. You know, I guess Mace felt like it was time to just, you know, let loose. You feel me? And um, Mace dropped the Oracle yesterday morning. And, whoo, that was a diss record if I ever heard one, son. Like, we don't get a lot of diss records like that. Like, a record where niggas just straight going in, personals. Like, it's no subliminal shit like these niggas is doing nowadays. Like, it's just straight Mace just going the fuck off. And um, I was excited to hear that. You feel me? Like I'm, I'm always pro Cam, especially you know I, I never really been a fan of Mace, despite him being from Harlem. It was just his type, his style of music wasn't what I like. You feel what I'm saying? Like just the whole uh, dancey, singy, you know, the the commercial shit. You feel me? But um, this was like murder Mace. You know what I mean? Like he was just going off. He spoke on damn near everything. Like. Like, where was Rico? Where was the Rico shit when Jim got jumped in Rucker and Cam fucking his sister? And Mace just came with a whole bunch of shit. And it was like, damn, like, it was kind of looking like it's going to be over for Cam for a bit. Like, you know what I mean? But um, Cam, uh, later in the day, he released um a snippet 
or a little preview of the diss track that he got coming for Mace, which he needs to just let that shit fly now. You feel me? Like from the from the snippet, it sounds like the shit done. Like you can hear in the mix that the shit is probably done already. He's just waiting to release it. You feel me? So um, I hope that shit drops sometime this weekend. Like he he definitely needs that to um to to counteract what Mace did. I mean, Mace lit the internet on fire. I mean, like that was. That that's crazy for artists like that to really like when you looked at the trending topics, the shit that was trending, it was like Mace, Cameron, Killer, Jewel, like everybody was trending. You feel what I'm saying? Just off this one record. Um, Harlem World was trending. You feel me? So it, it was good. It was good to to have a day like that in hip hop where, you know, some hip hop shit pretty much took over. You know, me being from Harlem, I'm definitely glad it was some Harlem shit. You feel me? And um, I'm looking forward to this Cam dis, dis response, man. You feel me? I, I feel like Cam definitely... Mace might have relit the fire. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Cam is one of them niggas, you don't drop a fire diss record like that and think he's not going to come back. Like, the nigga said he dropping the program too, New Year's Day. You know what I mean? So he probably going to... um, He probably going to be going in on Mace, like, throughout that whole shit. You feel me? So I, I'm definitely glad to see Cam is... Is, is back, like, like, Cam, Cam is a legend, you feel me, like, we're not going to dispute that, Cam is definitely a legend, he's an icon when it comes to rap, like, just what he was able to do as far as, like, you know, the whole independent thing, still having businesses on the side, and, you know, shit like that, like, the nigga always said he never rapped to get a deal, he just did it because he was nice. You feel me? So when you able, when, when you got that mentality and you're able to make money off it, like a lot of money off of it, then you're going to be good. You feel me? Um, and to see him now being able to get back into the spotlight, like, that's dope. Like, for niggas who's, who's uh, from, like, 25 to 30 and, you know, uh, 25 and up, I feel like that's good for our crowd. You feel what I'm saying? Because we can't fuck with this new wave of music, so... We need somebody from our time that's, you know, still putting out solid work. And that's what Cam is doing right now. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I just want to speak my piece on that. You know what I mean? Definitely looking forward to whatever comes out of this music-wise. You know, hopefully it don't lead to nothing crazy in the streets. But music-wise, yes, we definitely need this right now. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, that's my thoughts on that, man. No Mercy, Trap New York shit. NoMercyTV.com, man. Podcast episode four coming soon. Y'all already know. Bow.